if I'm helping someone, I feel good, even if it's for that little bit of time that I'm with them. I haven't been through all the trauma they've been through, so sometimes I don't understand, but I remain, you know, neutral and I let them know that I'm there to help, so I try to do the best I can for them. I try to be there when they need me the most. So, um, like I said, like even if it's to, a, to take them to a visit, to one of their appointments, to fill out a form, you know, little things that help them and mean something to them. Eva has helped me quite a bit. She has been, a, to me, a lifesaver. I was just living in a shelter, had just lost my car, felt really defeated, and she gave me a ray of hope. I would call her an angel. It helped pull me up out of a dark time. These are tears of joy, not upset. And I'm real grateful for her for being there when a time of need. I am now working at Foxwoods as a housekeeper. It's going great. I went in scared little kitten. Now I'm roaring and running around like the rest of the housekeepers, like chickens with our heads cut off trying to get our work done. And I feel a real sense of accomplishment of landing a job and being productive again after a year of not working. Yeah, it's physically demanding because you got to make um, anywhere from 10 beds up to 20 beds in a the day, you're on your hands and knees, washing the floors, the bathroom, polishing them, scrubbing the tubs. Yeah, at first it was overwhelming, but it, once you realize you're part of the family there, it's good. I really feel like I'm going to succeed and be able to live out on my own again, you know, you know pay for our apartment, and go be more positive. I feel a lot better now that I'm being productive and active again in society like everyone wants to be.